Hello there, Ticket Subs fans. We just saw the Disney Pixar film Coco, and this is everything a Pixar film should be. It's got the laughs, it's got the emotions, it's got oh, the feels, the man. feels. It's got beautiful animation. Alex, what were your thoughts on this film? Yeah, and like, j just like rattling those things off, like, yeah, that's easy to say in any kind of Pixar movie, but like, when we say that, it's it's so true. The first thing you notice right off the gate here is how like crystal clear the animation is that the characters themselves look like real like yeah kind of like real humans but like not in a creepy way yeah i don't know how Pixar does it they uh, do such a good job it's so good and then like everything they interact with especially like the guitars and stuff uh the close-ups look like it looked like a real guitar yeah because the hands aren't like the hands are kind of blurred out like the focus yep. and so they looks like a real hand and there was like dust it. on it and they were like they had the the guitar strings and the strings were vibrating yeah. like really nicely and Gorgeous pictures. Uh, the colors were amazing in it. Oh, um, so beautiful! It's, it centers around the Day of the Dead, and uh, the the colors along with that is, is really cool. Um, some of the spirit animals are really colorful. Yes. And, and the le the leaves, the leaf color was so cool. Oh, those are fantastic! So many creative uses of animation. This film was a they used the animation so wisely in so many creative, innovative ways. I give full respect to the animators in this movie. Oh my god, it must have been a crazy hard. Oh my gosh. So much depth to it, too. And this film had a lot of interesting characters, too. You'll definitely walk away from it, like, remembering certain characters, mm -hmm. which is always good with a film like this. Yeah, it wasn't, like, an overly complicated story. It was kind of like your standard Pixar, like, there's a miss, there's a, yeah. there's a good guy, and then there's a, you know, the story misdirects in a different way, and yeah. it turns out to be different, but... I don't know. I, th I thought it was it was more story, and I was actually like intrigued to watch what the story was going to be and how it turned out than I than I am in a lot of animated movies, at least lately. Um, it was way more surprising than Finding Dory. That's for sure. It yeah, was, this film it was much less by the book. I thought. Yeah, exactly. Perfectly said. I, I enjoy. This was definitely my. Fi I, I always like when Pixar brings out original films. I mean, obviously, we're so excited for Incredibles two, but between you know Finding Dory and Cars three, this is definitely. A Pixar has those kind of top tier films and oh, I think yeah. that leads towards more of that angle. With Which like, is crazy because I, I feel like this one really flew under the radar. I mean, they, obviously you heard about it and they, they advertised it, but man, they, they hit Finding Dory hard. They hit, yeah. they hit, I, I, they hit car, heart, Cars hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of felt like Good Dinosaur didn't it really. I felt that kind of went under good, the radar yeah, too. So this kind of feels like more I like, guess they really like push for the ones that they know are going to make a yeah, ton of money. Yeah. And then the, the really good ones kind of slide underneath. And yeah. who knows, maybe it'll turn out to be like a Hope fan so. favorite Hopefully. eventually. Because this film is definitely, I haven't seen Good Dinosaur, but I think Neither it's probably I. better just because I've heard, I've heard the, I've heard mixed things about Good Dinosaur. Right. Yeah. This one was, and oh man, you were saying how like it, it kind of reminds you of, uh, uh, interstellar toward the end of it and it's just like it's it, it hits you in the feels man i was like i was i was fighting back tears it was it, tough it, yeah one second and oh my gosh and yep. it's just a great celebration of family and music mm -hmm. and the day of the dead as yep. you said and i it was such a cool film and i'm really glad we they had could, their good like uh bone <laughs> Yeah, you know, that was so creative. Little, like, animations that that was so creative. That you would expect and love, and it's great. Throwing arms and like dancing all weird, being a skeleton. Yeah, that was really well done. They definitely made made creative use of that. Yeah, so if you can stick through the hour and a half long Frozen cold open, <laughs> it's okay. It's not Frozen is awesome. You're right. It's like three hours. <laughs> Four. It, it felt like a neon. Yeah. So sit through that, and then you're good to Coco. Trust me, you're not in the wrong movie, and it's it's just a great time. Fair enough. This is not the first movie we we're gonna we we're gonna go try to see three billboards today. That was sold out, but dang, we we stumbled upon a real yeah, winner. I'm glad that it worked out nicely. Oh yeah, absolutely. So Coco, all right, tickets to fans. Definitely Coco. We had a great time, and as always, Alex and I are so happy we got to see. Uh, we saw two movies this past week. We're going to not be able to do anything in person for a couple more weeks, but pretty soon we'll have more reviews together, which is always awesome. Maybe a Star Wars spoiler? Oh, that would be awesome. I could do it for a little while now. It's so fun. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Ooh, <laughs> oh, I'm... maybe it's here or maybe it's not because we don't animate that stuff Exactly, anymore. but it's somewhere on this oh, yeah. YouTube page. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye now.